Hi guys, I'm Nancy and today I'm going to show you how to factor any quadratic expression. So factoring can be a nightmare to some people because they feel like they're just doing trial and error, stabbing in the dark without any direction. Don't worry, I have a way that doesn't involve any guessing and will work for any quadratic expression. First I'm going to show you a simple case and then I'm going to show you a trick called the magic X for factoring any tougher quadratic. Okay, say you have a quadratic expression like this, x squared plus 4x minus 12, and you need to factor it. What you need to find are two numbers that multiply to give you this last number, negative 12, and which add to give you the second number, positive 4. So again, you need to find two numbers which multiply to negative 12 and which also add to positive 4. Okay. So first, think of all the numbers, all the pairs of numbers that would multiply to negative 12. and list them in a column over here. List all your options and you can rule them out later. So what pairs of numbers multiply to negative 12? We could have 1 and negative 12. That would give you a product of negative 12. You can flip the signs to negative 1 and 12. You could have 2 and negative 6, negative 2 and 6. It's a little tedious, but you're writing all your options, 3 and negative 4, negative 3 and 4. And those are all your possible pairs of numbers that will multiply to negative 12. So you've taken care of that requirement. Now, you need to figure out which of these pairs would also add to positive 4. So check all of them. 1 plus negative 12 would give you some big negative number, like negative 11. Rule it out. Negative 1 plus 12 would give you positive 11. No. 2 plus negative 6 would give you negative 4. Close, but not positive 4. Negative 2 plus 6 will give you positive 4. So those are your answers, your numbers for factoring. And you can ignore the others. You don't need to check them at that point. All you need to do is rewrite your quadratic as two sets of parentheses multiplied together, each of them starting with x, and fill in those two numbers that you found, negative 2 and 6. You can put plus, plus, fill in negative 2 and 6. Now, of course, you can simplify that and just write it as x minus 2 times x plus 6. So that's your answer for how to factor this quadratic. Now if you want to, you can always check your factoring answer by multiplying this out, foiling it out, and checking to make sure it's the same as your original quadratic. Okay, say you're given a quadratic that doesn't start with x squared that actually has a term like 3x squared or 2x squared in the beginning, first thing to do is check to see if an overall number will factor out front. In this case, for instance, you have a 3 that can go into every one of the three terms. You can pull out an overall 3 constant. And when you do, you're left with just x squared plus 4x minus 12, which you'll remember is the same as the last problem we just did. So this is actually not a tougher factoring problem. This is the same as the last problem. It was just disguised by this overall 3 constant. And this would factor the same as before, x minus 2 times x plus 6. Okay, 
Next, we're going to look at a truly tougher example, and I'll show you the magic X trick that will work for any factoring problem. Okay, say that you have a quadratic and it doesn't start with just x squared, it has a term like 3x squared in the beginning. You can use trial and error to factor this if you want, but that may take a long time. And I have a faster, quicker method called magic x, or x method, that's a surefire way to factor. Okay, so for the magic x method, you do literally draw an x off to the side. Now, at the top of your x, you're going to put the number you get for multiplying your first coefficient, 3, by your last constant, negative 8, which is negative 24, and you put that in the top of your x. In the bottom, you're going to put your middle number, 10, now what you need to do for the trick is find two numbers that multiply to give you negative 24 and add to give you 10. So we can write that. Find two numbers that multiply to negative 24 and add to 10. Now you can list pairs and you'll find that 12 and negative 2 are your two numbers. Because 12 and negative 2 multiply to give you negative 24 and 12 plus negative 2 gives you 10. Okay, next step in the magic x method is for each of these numbers, divide them by your leading coefficient. In this problem, it's 3. 3 is the first coefficient on your x squared. So you divide this number by 3, and you divide this number you found by 3. Those fractions simplify, so I'm going to write a simplified x down here. Twelve over three simplifies to four over one. Negative two over three stays the same. It's already in simplest form. Okay, you're almost done with factoring. You're going to use these fractions to write your final factoring. The bottom number in this fraction gives you the coefficient of x. So we have 1x. The top number gives you your constant, so just plus 4. Same for the other term, the other factor. Your bottom number here, 3, gives you your coefficient of x. And the top number, negative 2, gives you your constant. And you're done. This is your factorization, your factoring of your quadratic. And again, if you want, you can always check your answer by multiplying this out, foiling all the terms, and checking that you get back your original quadratic, and you will. I hope this helped you figure out factoring. I know factoring is super fun. It's okay, you don't have to like math, but you can like my videos, so if you did, please click like below.